Hey, you guys want to see some cool 3D effects? Hold on, man. Over time, I'll improve. But for now, just do. So as far as what I'm eating, you know, I'm basically eating the same things every day. Um, you know, white rice uh, for pre-workout. I take maybe like two cups with some beans and... And usually in the morning, uh, I used to have cereal, but as uh, I'm cutting, uh, I'm just having protein. This is my favorite one right here, like I showed you guys. Uh, French vanilla cream tastes so freaking good. I can have this every day, all day. The taste is just incredible. But yeah, I have that, you know, as morning, uh, post-workout, and sometimes even during the night when I, when I want a little snack, I just have that. And the other thing I have is, of course, uh, meat, which is fish. I eat about four fishes every single day. You know, they're only 100 calories, so right there is already, you know, 400 calories. And sometimes I like to have, you know, peanut butter and jelly. And, you know, I, I like using fiber one bread. Oh, man, that thing is so freaking good. It's amazing. Um, and two breads, just two buns is 200 calories. And then I take, you know, about two tablespoons of peanut butter. And that's another 200 calories plus the jelly. You can say another 100. That's about, you know, a 500 calorie meal. But, you know, that's sometimes. Uh, I'm doing that now just the fact that I'm eating, you know, that I'm doing a little bit more cardio right after my workouts. But usually I'll just take that right off and I'll just have, you know, probably close to a thousand calories just with my rice and beans. Just right close to a thousand calories. I estimate it as a thousand and then with the protein shakes. You know, uh, one scoop is uh, 120, and I'll probably have maybe like four, sometimes six scoops of that. Um, it always varies depending how active I am throughout the day. But sometimes I switch it up with a little bit of, you know, eggs, egg whites. You know, when I eat egg whites, I usually take three yolks, and that's basically it, yo. It's basically just consistent. Things that I'm, that I'm going to eat throughout the day, things that I could, you know, uh, not get me bored for some reason, you know, I'm limited to things just the fact that, I, you know, I, I don't have, you know, extra money to be spending on going out eating and stuff like that, you know, so that's basically my, my routine as far as uh, my meals go, it's basically every day, the same thing, and, you know, rice keeps me, you know, sane because I like rice, like I have rice every day, and peanut butter, I love that shit, and I can have that anytime, any day. But pretty soon I'm going to start cutting my peanut butter down. Just the fact that, you know, two tablespoons has over 200 calories. And as far as white rice goes, I'll lower that down once I'm a little bit leaner. You know, probably like 8 6%, somewhere around there. Which is most likely going to be like in two months from now or less. You know, when it comes to cutting, it's basically just knowing the calories you're eating and how your body's responding. You get used to a certain amount of foods those same foods every week and you know how many calories are going in that way you know you could track your fat loss be like oh this week I was eating you know 2100 calories and I didn't see anything so next week I'm gonna lower that you know it's a lot easy it's easy for me like this week I noticed I haven't been you know losing that much fat you know it's kind of been like maintaining just the fact that I've been eating a little bit more peanut butter so this coming week I'm gonna eat less you know I'm not even gonna buy it I'm just going to eat, I eat also bananas, so I'm just going to eat bananas for carbs and take out peanut butter, like, all together. And I'll probably be eating maybe 1,800 calories this, this week and see uh, if I drop some body fat. But I don't want to lower it, you know, like, right, like, today, just lower it down. Like, little by little, you know, lower down the calories. You know, right now I'm eating about 2,100 maybe, some something like that. You know, lower down tomorrow, like, 2,000. And then the next day, just keep it at 2,000 and 1,900 and see how my body responds. Like, little by little, just take it off. Because, you know, it's too, it's really early right now. It's only February still, the end. So I have a lot of time to cut it down. And I don't really want to risk, you know, losing muscle. Keeping my calories too low over time, you know, I'll, I'll risk muscle loss and, and you know, lose strength as well. You know, that's just what I do. That's just what I do when, I, when I'm cutting. I, I eat the same foods. That way, I can keep a little nice, easy track. On things that eat yeah so when you want to cut you know just stick to the same amount the same foods that way you can track your calories easy and that way you know what to change um you, you know just keep your protein high don't avoid all fats you know get some omega-3s in there 
so fish or flaxseed helps if you if you don't want to you know eat it with uh with your foods uh cottage cheese avocado you know almonds peanuts you know get a, fit in a little bit of uh you know good fats in there and don't be afraid of carbs you know carbs do not get you fat at all like i said a thousand times on my videos you know can't stress that enough and when you're cutting you want to keep your proteins high that's what's going to help you maintain your muscles while you're cutting so just do that you know stick to the same foods and take pictures don't look at the scale and hopefully that helps for you guys uh just thumbs up the video we'll be posting more videos to come and i'll talk to you guys next time